Hey. Sorry to drag you out of bed so late. Um, sorry I've been so busy lately with the, you know, hero work and all that. I actually had something on my mind, so I'm actually really glad you met with me tonight. I've never actually said anything like this to anybody before, so I, I'm, I'm sort of at a loss for words. Where do I start? My chest is really tight right now. It's like butterflies are just... could carry me away at any second now. I almost wish they would. I'm actually a little embarrassed, to be honest with you. I'm Shoto Todoroki. I've never been a loss for words. Well, I'm actually a man of few words anyway, but I suppose that's just the way you make me feel. Do you know where we are? Like, actually, do you know where we are right now? Yes, some random park at midnight, I know. <laughs> this is actually the park where we first met. I actually just got done getting a rogue cat from a tree, and you were running late. You had looked like you had overslept, and you kept shouting, I'm going to be late. I'm missing my train. I'm not going to make it to my exam. I heard you coming, but I didn't actually see where you were coming from. I was too busy trying to get the cat from not giving me another scar. But then you ran into me, and and I didn't know it then, but that few seconds that I got to look at you, I didn't know that you were going to be the biggest pain in my ass. <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't mean it. Ow! My arm. It's a little tender. No, I, I did I did want to see you again. But I was so busy starting out as a rookie hero. And my father's agency had me doing everything. But then you stormed in. And you demanded that I go on a date with you. I didn't know what to say, but... I knew I needed to go on a date with you, this crazy person. And with all the time that we've spent together, the dates that we've gone on, the many cups of coffee shared, it's brought me so much joy beyond measure. I want you to know that with you, I am the happiest person alive. As you know, growing up wasn't exactly easy for me. My father spent a lot of time regretting things, especially towards the end. And I decided a while ago that I wasn't going to spend my life making the same mistakes, having the same regrets. I didn't want to run out of time when I knew that I was just wasting it by my own hands. And it hit me like a truck recently. Like, one day I'm starting my first day at UA, and I blinked, and I was running my own agency. And all my friends, they're growing up, most are starting families, and some are off being great heroes. A lot of the time, we don't have contact with each other. And, you know, that's just life, and I understand that that's okay, because that's all part of growing up. Sometimes you just grow apart from people. I realize that you spend so much time in your younger life being surrounded by so many people and loving all of them that when you get older, less and less people come in and out of your life. And it becomes harder to love because you start to get lonelier and lonelier. And you find yourself loving less because you have less people around to practice with. So I want to say that I don't want my biggest regret being not having enough time. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And that's just all I really want is time. And if I don't say what I need to say now, if I don't get it off my chest now, I'm afraid there will never be the right time to do it. And you won't be in my life anymore. I... 
I'm in love with you. And I want to spend the rest of my days figuring out where that love will go, where it'll take us. And I want to spend my last breaths knowing that I fell madly and deeply in love with you. Hey, I have a surprise for you. Close your eyes. This isn't exactly the first pond that we ice skated at, but I figured just like our first date, maybe we can go ice skating again. <laughs> Do you think you've learned anything from the last time? <laughs> you've definitely have gotten better, but you still are the clumsiest person I know. <laughs> hey, I'll give you credit. You don't have to cling on to me anymore. You definitely have found your ice legs, so to speak. Though, now that I'm starting to think about it, I think that you were doing that on purpose sometimes. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I know it's true. Hey, you know what I was saying earlier? It's not just talk, you know? I actually want to spend the rest of my life with you. So that's why, after this upcoming raid, I'm going to announce my retirement. No, it's okay. This is a decision that I that I want to make. I love being a hero, but not as much as I love you. And so I want to plan... Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Will you marry me? Hey guys, it's your boy, Doki Doki Jukebox. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, leave me a like, or if you want to tell me what your favorite part was, leave it in the comment section down below. I enjoy reading your comments. Um, yeah, these, these confession videos are actually really, really hard for me to do. I don't know why, but they take so much out of me. But I'm glad you guys enjoy them. That's what keeps me doing them, I suppose that's the right thing to say. I love doing them because you guys enjoy watching them. Uh, yeah, as always, there's links down below to all the music that I've used, the excellent covers, um, and then I think I'm going to put social down below. I don't know. It doesn't really make a difference, but yeah, have a good day.